So today I'm going to be showing you a LinkedIn connection bot and it uses, it's scripted in Python and uses the Selenium library for the automation process. Here's a quick glance at the source code. I'll have this in the link description. I mean in the video description. Um, so let's just show you how it works. There's two files. There's a LinkedIn.py. Well, actually there's more than two files, but the important things here are LinkedIn.py and parameters.py. In parameters.py, you'll have a variable called file name, and this file is basically going to store any successful connections that are made in your account. Um, this LinkedIn username and password are very, you know, self-explanatory. This is the login information for your LinkedIn account. This is a demo account that I have, so that's why it doesn't really matter. Um, keywords. Here is the is the important part you you want it to these are the parameters that it's going to search by so if you're looking for connections for people who are within the information technology field you would put information technology linux python cybersecurity oscp whatever it is whatever field that is you you are in or interested in you would put that in here and it would find people that are in that industry and this is how many results show up per page so I'll just get right to it and fire it up. Uh, all we're going to do is in terminal python linkedin.py and run it. It's going to open up a Chrome window. And there are a little... Actually, now it's working fine. Okay. So the only thing you won't be able to see in this demo is how is it actually getting a successful connection. Because I just created this account and I have no connections. I don't think it allows me to just connect to people or request to connect to people but you can see here that right now it would be trying to connect to people and it saw that it couldn't connect to anything on this page so it's going to move on to page two um, here is a nice nice little log of what's going on and again it's going to it's probably going to keep doing this forever because i don't think it's going to let us connect to anything but as you can see all of the results these people have something to do with penetration testing or OSCP, something involving keyword information technology. Um, one of the key things about why this bot is good is that there's a there's a time dot sleep, which is gonna try to make it look as if it's more of a human doing this, and that's important because if LinkedIn notices that you're connecting to a hundred people in you know, 30 seconds, you know, it, it's it's going to know you're a bot. And I believe their policy says that they don't allow bots, so I would be careful. This could get you banned. I would recommend maybe setting up a, a cron job where it would run this script every, I don't know, a couple of hours for a certain amount of time and then close it and maybe try to ram randomize that just for you know, to make it look like you're a real human. Aside from that, the link for this code will be in the description of the video. Um, one thing I will say is you might run into an error with the driver. And how I recommend to solve this is, let's just stop this really quick. And let's load up a Chrome window. Let's do an incognito. If you go into settings here, help about Google Chrome, you're going to want to find your version of Google Chrome that you're running, right? So we're running 83.04. Uh, what we're going to do is look up Chrome driver download. In here, you're going to find which one you're running. So in mine, I don't know where it went. We're running 83.0.41. We would do 83.0.41. You pick this one and move it to slash user slash local slash bin. The executable, or I'm not sure if it's, if it's actually an executable. But you'd move it into that folder and then in the variable driver, give it the pat to that. And that should fix any dr Chrome driver problems. Besides that, if anything else goes wrong, hit me up in the comments and we'll see what we can do.
Thanks.